I'm Kohei Omori. I'm the head of NAP International and also associate of uh, Hiroshi Nakamura and NAP and uh, uh, head architect for uh, Our Lady of Lord Chapel. So, I mean, as you can see, the form of the structure of building itself has three dimensionality. So making the selection of the material that could suit this form with durability towards the harsh Philippine sunlight and you know the rain, I guess that was quite challenging. And we always had to make sure that part of it is feasible by local subcontractor rather than outsourcing everything uh, outside of the country. Although this area has you know, commercial element, we have the mall and the residences, this specific area we felt that it's suited for a chapel having the creek and the greenery that gently uh, kind of separate from the surrounding environment. As soon as we saw the site, we were excited that the chapel would suit this very specific location. You know, as the concept of the building itself, we want them to feel that they're embraced by the building and by the air. It is in a church of Mother Mary who embraced uh, Jesus Christ. It would be wonderful if this could be you know, a place for maybe a little bit of healing uh, in their you know, daily life and that you know, they feel embraced. You know, it is a church for, of, of Mother Mary. It is represented by the purity of the flower lily. We were envisioning uh, architecture that gently embrace people like the flower of lily, which is Mother Mary. As the chapel shines in the sunlight, I think the purity of white, uh, the lily is really emphasized. So yeah, we made the connection between the kindness and gentleness of Mother Mary to Lily, and that's how the concept came. First, because of this form of the chapel, the top portion acts as like a funnel. It gets heated because there's a top light. So the heated air is essentially exhausted naturally to the outside, which will draw in a cool air from the creek nearby. So that's one of the environmental strategy that we wanted to take in to the design concepts. And also, as you can see, all around there's deep eave that extends outside to protect people from the harsh sunlight. Before entering the chapel, they feel that they're protected by the chapel. Because this is a place to reflect, we wanted to give people allow them to feel the passing time throughout the day. So whenever they come in the morning, the lighting is a little different. They come in the afternoon, uh, more light coming from the skylight. I guess that was a consideration that uh, we always cared for.
whether it is chapel or any other building, we think, you know, as designer, we, th we believe that design is something that, you know, affects uh, people uh, emotionally or, you know, spiritually. But it is a chapel and that part of the design aspect is uh, very pure in form. So, you know, selection of material to, let's say, little detail, like, you know, small curvature on the furniture where you feel that you're welcome or you feel you're embraced. That detail and also how the building let the light in throughout the day. I think that design aspect has a significant effect on how people feel on their spiritual element, the details and like uh, how the architecture interacts with the surrounding natural environment. In terms of architectural design, I think that those are the important elements for how people feel.